welcome back to another video. This is the finished painting of the villa. In fact, it's not quite finished at all because I've just noticed that and this needs doing. It needs just a bit of brown on it like that side, but that won't take long to do. Wow. I did make a few silly mistakes and had to correct them. Um, especially with this floor thing. I made a uh, splashed something on it. They made them look a mess. So I was going to lighten it up anyway or do something with it, make it look more realistic. So, oh, and I've also noticed that a shadow needs to be done in here as well. There we are. That's, so that's as that and that. I mean, it'll be totally finished, but it's mostly finished. Anyway, I, I did a mucky mark on here. So I tried to cover it up, but it wasn't the same colour. So then, I, I decided I'll go. I'll do the whole of the, and whole of the um, floor anyway. So I redid it in that colour, and I should really do something else with this shadow. This shadow doesn't look right, so, so nothing to do. Um. Anyway, I did the floor again, and um, made it look better. And I put some darker in parts in on the on the um, plant pots and stuff. And on these, darkened this bit and darkened that as well. I'm not saying this necessarily in the right order that I did it because I can't remember what order I did it in. Um, and then I'll put this arch in that's slightly lighter than the rest of it, darker bits in here. I've realised that there was another stair rail the other side, so I'll put that in. <laughs> and I'll put um, dark bits at the edges of all the stairs to so make them stand out. And And I did the edge of this in black so it shows up better. And uh, then I did it too much, so I had to go over the edge of it with some white. Um, there was a smudge up here that I had to cover in white. Um, a few smudges up here that I had to put as well. I did this bit. I did the door here and the windows up there. <laughs> I did this lamp thing and these bits of wiring and stuff. And I did the orange flowers. And when all that was dry, I did the leaves. I did what first one colour, Viridian first. Then I waited for that to dry, then I did sap green, then I waited for that to dry. Then I did a bit of a light green with white in, and the same with here. And that one with this um, plant. Um, then I had to do the handrail for the um, stairs, which is very fiddly. So I used the little paintbrush that I've got in with my stone making kit, stone making, stone painting kits again, the very small one. I was going to get some tiny brushes that are like naught and naught, 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 and naught, 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 naught. I've got a naught. But sometimes even the naught isn't small enough to do tiny fiddly things. So I did that with the brush from out of my stone painting kit. Um, I think that was about it. And this bit as well. Darkened the shadows here and this bit around here as well. It's just those bits that I've forgotten the bit that bit of that bit and that bit that's got to be done and that's and that will make it finished and then I'll sign it and put it in my um display folder thing with the other seven so that's another picture uh, almost done uh, well the luncheon club yesterday was um, cancelled, as you know, um, because of forecast snow. And the, yes, the snow did not come and it's still not here yet. We had lots of rain, but no snow. It was snowing further north and in Scotland and in North Wales. But it didn't come to us, thank goodness. 
I prefer it when it doesn't snow, but that meant the luncheon club was cancelled for no reason. But I did manage to get to the dining room table, and my stepdad had his lunch upstairs, so I had more time at the dining room table to do this. And a lion, which I will show you in another video. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and then I will see you in another video when I will show you the lion painting. Bye!